All right, boys. So we've gone over our cuts and relays, our double cuts. Now we're going to get into a very basic part of playing team defense, and that is team defense. All right, team bunt defense. Forgive me. Can't even speak. Going over bunt defense. So with our bunt defense, we need to draw in our guys in our positions. There's really only going to be two different plays of bunt defense that we're going to enact. One very specific one that we can even go over in a later time. But right now, I just want to go over basic bunt defense. What we are doing in a basic bunt defense, say there's nobody on, or there's a runner on first base. The situation is the same. So we'll say a runner on first base, for just to make the obvious bunt situation. This team is looking to get this runner over to second base. In this situation, we have a runner on first base. We are looking to get this guy potentially out at second base. If not, we're looking to just take our out at first base. So in this, we want our third baseman to be playing even or in, depending on how confident we are with the bunt. Our first baseman is not necessarily, we'll go over first base in a little bit, forgive me. Our pitcher, once we see bunt, will be crashing to the first base side. Our catcher has everything up the middle. Now we say that everybody has direction, but rule number one, if you can get the ball, get the ball. Do not wait and say, oh, that wasn't my responsibility, that wasn't my lane. If you can get the ball, call, I got it. Even though the ball's on the ground, you're still communicating. I got it, I got it, I got it. Go get the ball if you can get the ball. That is fine. But just going over responsibilities, first base has first baseline, catcher's up the middle, third base, you're even looking to get anything coming down the third baseline. Our first baseman, you are at first base. If the bunt is hit, is bunted hard, and you can come get this ball, you are getting this ball. And all of a sudden this turns into a basic PFP where we're fielding this ball, and our pitcher is running over, looking to cover first base. Boom, we flip the ball to our, first base, our pitcher, we have the out of first base. If not, if this ball is hit softly, you are not crashing. You are anchoring first base, and you are holding first base. Now, our middles. Our second baseman this is a misconceived notion that our second baseman covers second base. That is wrong. Our second baseman needs to be getting over and backing up first base. Our right fielder is doing the same thing. We're backing up second base. This ball cannot get past our first line defense. However, if it does, we have two more lines of defense to make sure that this runner does not advance any more bases than he can once upon us making an error. Our center fielder is backing up second base, most likely on the right side of the base or the side towards left field, looking presumably there's going to be a throw coming from that direction. Our left fielder, you're going to be looking to wait, make your way down, determining if you need to be backing up second base or third base, looking to get a potential rundown, looking to get a potential over or something like that. Our shortstop has second base. And now, for now, since our third base will be charging on a bunt, third base is vacant. This needs to be communicated. Somebody, whether it be our catcher or our third baseman, needs to sprint back to third base. So that way this runner, from coming from first base to second base once his bunt's laid down, does not go to third base. We cannot leave that base vacated. Somebody needs to fill that base, whether it be our third baseman or our catcher. Somebody needs to sprint back once, not, if you're the one not making the play. You need to sprint back and get the ball, get back to third base to cover third base for a potential play there. So once again, just going over responsibilities. Pitcher has first base side. Our catcher has everything up the middle. Our third baseman's charging and looking to make a play. Our first baseman's anchored at first base. Unless this ball's hard hit, we turn into a PFP just like normal ground ball. Our second baseman's backing up first base. Our right fielder's backing up second base, who's backing up first base. Our center fielder's backing up second base, covered by the shortstop. Our shortstop's covering second base. Left field's looking to back up either second base, third base, determining on what, depending on where the place be, is going to be. And our catcher and third baseman are communicating. Somebody is getting back to third base. All bases must be covered. So that is what happens on a basic bunt defense. Once again, all nine guys have responsibility. There can be nobody standing still when we are playing bunt defense. All nine guys must be moving. Now, say we have a runner on second base. This is where the bunt defense gets a little bit more different. Our first baseman is crashing hard. Hard. 
we assume this is a bunt situation. Assuming this is a bunting situation. Our first baseman's crashing hard. Our second baseman, from your base, you are cheating over. Is a big diamond. You need to cover a lot of ground. You need to make sure it needs to be a guarantee you can get to first base. This bunt gets laid down. Our first baseman's in. Our second baseman, here, you are tracking over and you are becoming the first baseman. You need to be there. There is no reason to not be there. Our shortstop has second base. Our pitcher has everything coming. Anything the pitcher can get to, get to. But most likely you're going to go to third base slide, pitcher, everything up the middle. Now, another misconceived notion is that in this situation, our third baseman is just standing there. No, our third baseman is even. We know this is a bump play. The batter is trying to get this bunt most likely down the third base line with the first baseman charging. Say this is a hard bunted ball. We'll use green for the ball. Say this is a hard bunted ball that gets past our pitcher. Our third baseman cannot be back. Our third baseman needs to be ready to make this play. Good for the batter, he laid down a good bunt. We still need this out at first base. Our third baseman needs to come in. He needs to make the charging play, probably a throw on the run to get this guy out of first base. You are not anchored to third base. You are reading the bunt to see, okay, I need to go get that play, or, okay, I'm back at third base. You are not automatically anchored to third base. You are reading to see what you're doing. Once again, right field, you're backing up first base. Center field, you're backing up second base. Left field, you're backing up third base. Everybody has a roll. All bases are covered. Second base, most importantly here, you need to be at first base. Third base, most importantly, you are not anchored. You are reading if you are charging or if you are just holding. That determines on how hard the bunt is bunted. Pitcher, if you get to the ball, get to the ball. First baseman, if you have a good lean and you think you can get this guy at third base, call everybody off, get the ball, get the guy at third base. Get the guy at third base. Catcher, same thing, pointing out traffic, make sure everybody knows all their rules. Shortstop, you're at second base in case anything happens, controlling traffic. But that is basic bunt defense. When broken down, it is very simple to understand. Again, not expected to be understood the first time through. But every, all nine players on this field, every single player has a role, and everybody needs to know each other's role on this field. Everybody needs to know that what they are doing. Everybody needs to know what their teammate is doing. Everybody needs to know that we are all in cahoots in team defense. When everybody is doing the same thing, said it in previous videos, it comes down to playing catch. If you can play catch better than the other team, you will be able to beat the other team. Pretty easily probably. Basic punt defense, when we have runners on first base and when we have a runner on second base. There's one more bunt situation. We will not go over that now. This is just basic bunt defense that I want you guys to understand. We'll go over another bunt scenario in a different video. But again, if you have any questions, if you're confused about anything, please rewatch the video. Please ask me questions. I will not be afraid to answer them. Thank you.